How are you going? Welcome back to my channel Bootlosophy and my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on here in Perth in Western Australia, the Wajik people. Now, I have another unboxing from Parkhurst for you. In uh, recent weeks, Parkhurst have been releasing a great deal of really interesting boots and I have kind of zoned in on his double stitch down Allen boots that Andrew has been releasing and making up in some really amazing leathers. Uh, if you're not aware, the 618 last is a uh, development from the old 18 last, which is quite a tapered um, a toe box, which some people might not like, but I'll talk about that when I open this. And a combination with his uh, 602 last. So uh, it's a combination last in the sense that it has a very small heel, a very uh, snug waist, opens out to the ball before it uh, starts to taper again. And I've, I've been trying it in my uh, uh, other uh, boot in brown wax flesh and I'm really loving that, that actual look of it. And I'll one day do a comparison between the 602 to 618 and that development model that I bought in horse butt, which was um, uh, before the 618 was fully developed. But to this boot, this is the 618 Allen double stitch down boot coming out of the Portugal factory, the Portuguese factory. Uh, it's in a sea of stead leather in uh, waxed mohawk and I think the colorway is called stone. So without further ado, let's open it up. And if you've seen my other um, recent videos on unboxing Parkers, you now know that Parkhurst sends their boots in a boot box uh, inside a package container, whereas in the old days, the actual um, shipping container was actually the boot box. Um, so I, I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's nice to have a boot box that's got an, an impressive logo on it, the Parkhurst uh, Buffalo from Buffalo, New York. Let's open it. Uh, here's the usual card from Andrew. Uh, thank you for your support and join way well, signed by Andrew. Spare cotton laces, wrapped in paper, no boot bags this time. Uh, perhaps that's the new, uh, the new method of shipping, not sure. This is leather from Charles F. Stead. Um, this is a Mohawk leather, which I'm actually told by Andrew is the same, if not similar, to Rambler leather. It's a shrunken suede, uh, and you can see the textures on it. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think this, I think this is a, a shrunken suede with a little less nap. I think this is the right way around suede. The inside, to me, feels like the rough outside of suede uh, as opposed to rambler leather which is kind of the other way around where the flesh side is out and then shrunken to reveal uh, veins and things. I think these markings are more on the outside of the split leather suede. I must get to the bottom of the difference between rambler and mohawk uh, and, and you know this looks like the reverse mohawk that I have in the Richmond's which um, if I get this right, you should be able to see up, up at the top, one way or the other. Uh, brass eyelets, leather uh, shoelaces, boot laces. There were the spare cotton ones over there. Quadruple stitching at the quarter. Double stitching at the uh, backstay. It's a single piece backstay. So the, the, I suspect the um, leather heel counter is on the outside rather than inside. And feeling inside, I don't see a patch, so that, that it's held by this backstay. The uh, toe box is celastic. Um, double stitching and the single stitching where it doesn't really, doesn't really count with a, a very much lighter weight backing. You see the cleanliness of that pressing for the um, speed hooks. Often I can run my thumb on it and sort of catch. This is absolutely flat. Really fantastic um, QC from the Portuguese factory and the uh, uh, eyelets are actually washed so that you know there's nothing to catch you. Texture in the tongue's pretty good. The yeah, semi-gusseted up to the um, second last eyelet. 
uh, and I really like the way that Parkhurst um, semi-gussets their, their tongues because it doesn't slip, gives a little certain uh, extra dust and, and water resistance. This is a beautiful leather. This colour is called, I think, stone. Uh, and you can kind of see why. It has um, very, you know, incredible texture and, and when you flex, which is difficult because of this double midsole, um, it's supposed to show a really nice break on, this, on the flesh side. Okay, I'm reading the notes and this is the flesh side. Has a much tighter fibre structure, according to the notes, which makes it appear a lot more rugged while being full of still waxes and oils uh, from the actual tannage. So you should see in the sunlight, maybe not in this artificial white light, uh, colours of light grey, brown, a little dark grey and even some black. Don't quite see all of those but we'll get them up in the sunlight and I'll take a look. 618 last, pointier toe, very slim heel, uh, very slim waist, a lovely wide, I think this is an eve not a double width um, uh, ball of the foot area and then the forefoot comes down into a, uh, a very tapered almond shaped toe. Do not be afraid because of the design of the last, that's not going to squeeze your toes. Your toes are not up there, your toes are actually down here somewhere. So your little toes are there before they start that taper in. Really well designed last. Uh, Parkhurst proprietary commando lugged sole. You can see from it that the moulding is just so clean, isn't it? Very, very clean indeed. Uh, Andrew did release some, some sort of small shots of this from this angle and I thought, what the hell? Is that actual leather that's been folded over? But no, it's just the, the texture of the, the rubber. Uh, did I mention double leather midsole? You can see how thick that is. Uh, leather stack on the heel, topped by the rubber and nailed in. Let's take a look at the other boot. Oh, nice texture there. It's sort of built in patina, really. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And the stitching, clean. No sort of rough edges. Very even. The spacing is extremely even. Uh, also on the, on the stitch down, it's very even. You know, it's a little bit off, but you know, a hand guides it through the, through the machine. Uh, it's a double stitch down, which means that the leathers are flared out and then stitched down into the midsole, or one stitch goes through the midsole, and the second stitch goes all the way through into the rubber outsole. It covers uh, three quarters of the boot from here to here, and then the rest is uh, stitched on the inside of the insole in there and then it's, it's glued and, and nailed on uh, from the top down, I believe, in this case, or it might actually be bottom up and then it's clinched when it hits the anvil. Uh, but also the, the, the heels are then stitched in as well. So getting an x-ray of this would be very interesting. Uh, leather heel counter, Celastic Toe Puff. Very exciting. Let's get this on foot and we'll see what they look like. So uh, let's get them on. When they come from the factory, the, they do a sort of bar lacing system, which I don't really like. Mine sort of go uh, under and over. Uh, I just find that locks in the boot much better. That slipped in beautifully. The sign of a good fit, I think, is when the boots go in and goes thunk. <laughs> Here we go. Through the speed hooks. The laces are not quite long enough to wrap around uh, and a little bit long for a simple loop. So I'm just going to do that very simply and then um, normally when I put them on I'll, I'll tie on a double knot. Let's put the other one on. The feeling is um, very comfortable, very comfortable indeed. The fit is, is absolutely perfect. I'm an 8.5D US Brannock. These are 8D. Um, and that old adage of taking a half size down works perfectly in Parkhurst for me. 
The 618 last, if you don't know, is a variation of the old 18 last plus the 602 combination last, which Parkers have been using for years. And it is a combination last, so I don't know if I can get the angle right. You should be able to see that it's very, very snug in the heel and the ball with a lot of arch support because the, the leather curves in. And then it widens out at the, oh, sorry, did I say ball? I meant at the waist. Uh, and then it opens up at the ball of the feet to accommodate your big knuckles. And then your toes are well accommodated before they taper in. So it's not like your toes are there getting squished. Your toes are back here and then it tapers in to a nice shape. My toe is ending up there. So I have about, oh, what's say a, a thumb and a little finger, less than a little finger. So my toes are about there. Uh, normal rounded shoes, my toes would be a bit further up. Uh, I've worn 618 lasts for a few weeks now in the uh, brown wax flesh version that I unboxed and shown you earlier. And I can tell you that the little extra length does nothing to, to feel awkward. These are quite stiff. Not the uppers, I think the that veg tan leather is pretty stiff and it's going to need some breaking in. Very comfortable. I mentioned the arch support and I think that's important because of the way it curves in and just holds your arch up. Comfort underneath is good. Often when you put on, let me just get rid of this, often when you put on uh, heritage boots with all that leather underneath, they feel kind of quite hard like you're standing on a raft. Yeah, you can't get away from that here, but so for some reason, and it's certainly not foam on the insole, uh, this feels really quite comfortable, and I, th I suspect that's because of the way the waist is turned in on the 618 last. The construction is just gorgeous. Uh, this waxed mohawk leather is just gorgeous. Uh, I'd love to see it outside in the sun, and I'll bring you that in a few months' time after I've worn it and broken it in, especially this midsole. That's tough. It's going to need a few walks to get that broken in. But it, it, you know, it fits comfortably. I do need to cinch them up a little bit tighter because I was doing this quickly to show you. Uh, the grip is really good. I'm, I'm loving the, the fit. I'm loving the look of it. Like Parkhurst, Andrew Savisco has just been creating some amazing uh, uh, designs and products in the uh, first few weeks of July this year. Like, you know, if you're not tempted to buy every single one, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> uh, check out the link below. I've got a link to his website, which is affiliate linked, but that's got nothing to do with my admiration. <laughs> I love these boots. Okay, let's wrap up and uh, uh, summarize. So there you go, guys. I hope you like this unboxing. I mean, this is, this is some crazy leather. I'm, I'm loving this, this waxed mohawk. Uh, it, you can feel the waxiness in it as a, as a finish, but, but it is, you know, it, when you think of uh, um, uh, uh, suede, which this is fundamentally a suede, you think of kind of effete, soft kind of material. This is super tough. This is super thick. Uh, I'll measure it properly when I do the full review, which will come in a few months' time. Uh, I've got a few pairs of Parkhursts to wear in, and uh, we'll see what the break-in goes like. But I, I'm telling you, the comfort on this is really quite incredible in this new 618 last. I am absolutely loving what Andrew's doing at the moment. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the unboxing. If you do, please click on like. That will really help my channel. And you know what will really help my channel? If half of you watching are not subscribed, if you subscribe, that's really going to all go wild. I'm really going to you know, double my audience. So please consider subscribing because I'll bring you more of these fun videos to look at different pairs of boots while I'm still capable of buying them. <laughs> so take care out there. And until I see you the next time, be good. <laughs>